Hey guys, and I hope you guys are doing okay today. So today I got a bunch of info for this year's Halloween event in Dead by Daylight. So I got what the hooks and gens will look like this year, what they're covered in, I got the lobby. Um, and I got just a bunch of info of stuff that will be returning from the past and stuff that will be included in this year's uh, event as well. There's a few bad things and a lot of good things, so yeah. Let's jump right into this video guys. Before I actually get into anything too crazy, they actually bring it back. The Dwight Crow charm, as you can see on the screen now, this is awesome because last year I actually made a rant on this. This is my second ever rant, I believe, my third rant, and that was because we had to go on Fog Whisperer streams to try and get these codes for this charm, which was a pain in the ass and this was a waste of time. But this year they're actually just making it straight up. You can go on the store and get it whenever the fuck you want for the whole month, which is good. That's what they should have done in the first place, and I'm happy they've actually seen that and didn't make the same mistake. So yeah, if you want to get the charm, if you haven't got it. Go get it right now. Okay, let's start with the basic. So, we have the lobby um, for this year's event. There's a few issues I have with this lobby it's because it feels very lazy, you know. It feels like the original lobby and all they did was just add a few fucking pumpkins in the background this year. That's it. Nothing different in the back. Yeah, it looks like fucking with with a few pumpkins. Not like previous years. Here's an example of the 2018 one. Like, look at that. Like, that's a proper theme looking background. It, it looks like they actually put effort and time into that. Here's the 2017 one as well. You know, you guys kind of get it. It actually feels like a Halloween kind of event theme. This is feels like they fucking copy and pasted a few fucking pumpkins and said, here we go, here's the lobby. So that's very lazily done in my opinion. I'm just going to be brutally honest. That's what I always do. I just kind of bullshit, you know. I'm just... Keeping it real. But we move. Um, it's not terrible. So that's something. We've got the hooks and the gems this year. Uh, these are really weird. I actually don't really like them that much. It doesn't really feel anything to do with Halloween. In my opinion. Like when I look at these hooks and the gems. I don't think of anything to do with Halloween related. I just think of it as a different kind of event. Or just something on the map. Because like a lot of the new maps nowadays have hooks just similar to this. So it doesn't really feel special. Like, if they actually put pumpkins like they did before in the previous uh, years, then it'll feel good, you know. Um, what else have we got? Okay, we've got, like, the full info thing right now, full info list. So, the Halloween event, Midnight Grove, is scheduled to start on October 21st and end November 4th. Old Halloween items, add-ons, offerings are coming back and will be available in the blood webs and chests. There's going to be a tome for this year's Halloween, just like last year. First level of Halloween tome, there's a total of two levels, opens on October 21st. Upon uh, progressing through it, you'll be able to unlock special event rarity cosmetics for the new survivor, doctor and three new charms. Second level unlocks on October 28th. So for the doctor cosmetic, it looks like they're actually making it for free. He's original Halloween one, which is cool. So we actually don't pay real money this year. Um, and that's good because you actually can't pay it with Eerie Shards, remember. Only Oryx sells, so it's good that they'll probably make it for free. Unless the devs are actually that fucking shit. To the point where they bring out a cosmetic for Doc, not even a full outfit, like a cosmetic piece, which is nothing to do with Halloween, and they just say it's part of it, which I doubt they're doing, so hopefully not, but if that happens, we move, I guess. You can expect blighted cosmetics released into the shops and new ones, but these cosmetics won't be unlockable through event progression. So, like last year, there's going to be no blighted serum currency, which is a problem, and I'm going to say it again, like last year, it ruins everything part of the event. Let me tell you why. The event currency was the best currency in my opinion in DVD. And it was just the key to the whole event. Like it was a key point to the whole event. Do you know why? Because the Halloween cosmetics cannot be bought with in-game currency. Just in general. Just real life money. Which is obviously not good. So this event made it where you have a limited time to get these really expensive outfits for free, which was special. Like, imagine getting outfits worth fucking a thousand Oryx cells for free during an event. Like, everyone loves that, especially when they're Halloween related. Like, that's the best thing. Like, it literally carried the whole event. So I don't know why they're removing something so special and so harmless. It just ruins everything because now these new cosmetics won't be as special. Yes. The new Halloween cosmetics now are worth Eerie Shards as well, not the old ones, just the new ones coming out. Which is not terrible, it's not as bad as it is with just having to pay real money. But it's still not as special and it's still way more grindy than actually doing it for the Halloween event. 
of the blighted serum currency which is no longer in the game so that's a p uh, it's a shame and i hope the devs actually pattern up in the next year event and add it unless they actually do like a quick switch up this year and add it in quickly as a little surprise which they probably wouldn't do but we move uh during the event tangle generators hooks as well as pumpkins that's new appear in the trials you'll need to complete various challenges tied to them upon the throwing pumpkin uh there's 40 percent chance to receive a treat so hinder stats effect for 10 seconds there's a 20 percent chance to receive a trick haste stats effect for 10 seconds that's actually not that bad uh i love the pumpkin idea as well that's cool special halloween event themed loading in the yeah, yeah okay that's cool so it looks like we're actually gonna get a new theme for this year's event for halloween um which is cool unless they really use one of the old ones hopefully the 2018 one we don't know but yeah that's literally it so this event is not as bad as last year just straight up which i'm happy for i'm grateful for actually because imagine if it was worse than last year i don't know how that could even be possible way better than last year but nothing compared to 2018 2017 and 2019 ones never will be as good especially when they're removing a currency because the devs just removed every event currency from the main consoles or the main platform for dbd which i don't know why like mobile still has other currencies but not pc and console for some reason anyways what are your thoughts on this year's halloween event are you guys excited for it or not excited because of the currency being removed just let me know in the comment section below and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace